From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell. And breaking news this afternoon, Bob Stoops has announced he is retiring from Oklahoma. No longer the head football coach at Oklahoma. Effective immediately. Barry, you broke this story. There's more news to come out of this, but let's talk about this to start with. Uh, a shocker, really. Here we are, early June. You don't expect head football coaches to move, to leave, to retire, to do any of this. What happened? Why now? Why Bob Stoops now? Don't know. Hope to find out. I don't know if he's uh, just ready to move on with life. Got a lot of money. Got a great family. Got a great situation. And just ready to not have to worry about beating Texas and Oklahoma State, maybe. Uh, I don't know if it's health concerns. You know, his father died of a heart attack at age 54. Bob's always took, take, tried to take in really good care of himself. But, you know, at some point you think, you know, it's time to live and, and uh, live as stress-free as possible. I don't know. But I do know that uh, retiring in June, while very odd, is actually when coaches ought to do it. Uh, this idea of moving jobs in December and hiring coaches, that's the worst possible time to do it. That's when everybody does it. But this uh, makes for an easy transition with Lincoln Riley. Uh, it's nice. It's between the two recruitings. You know, all the, the, the 17 guys are in. The 18 guys, it's early enough that if, if this affects them one way or the other, they're not, in, uh, they're not in dire straits. So it's actually not a terrible time. It's unorthodox. But it's not a terrible time. Well, and we hope to get some answers to that question and many, many others around 5.30 today. A, a press conference in Norman will be there. We'll have it on newsok.com. Uh, we'll be uh, all over social media, on the website, all of those sort, sorts of things, trying to get some answers to these questions. But, Barry, one of the questions that we can answer is impact. Bob Stoops' impact on Oklahoma, on college football. I mean, you, you can't understate what he's done in 18 years at Oklahoma. You know, people... Even guys, old timers like me that have been around, it's easy to forget what Oklahoma football had fallen to when Bob Stoops stepped on campus, on campus December 1st, 1998. Sooners had gone five straight years without a, uh, without a winning season. They'd gone 10 years without a major bowl. I mean, Oklahoma football had fallen far below what Texas football is in. We talk all the time about the Texas maze. Sooners were far below what Texas is now. And Bob Stoops got him resurrected almost immediately. It was stunning. The mindset changed overnight. The quality of play changed overnight. In year two, they were champions of the world, and it ushered in the third golden age of Oklahoma football. What he has done really can't be overstated. His only crime is he won his national title early. People came to expect more. He had three more shots in a national title game, uh, lost them all. Uh, but uh, the sustained excellence is, is hard to match. Um, 18 seasons, 10 Big 12 titles, just great season after great season. He's on Rushmore with Wilkinson and, uh, and Switzer, and he ranks right along, uh, alongside them. Yeah, and nationally as well among one of the greats, just 10 wins short of 200, which clearly, uh, I, you know, the fact that you get up in that higher 100 mark anywhere is unbelievable. Uh, but as you mentioned earlier, Lincoln Riley will now be taking over the program. In a prepared statement sent by Oklahoma a little bit earlier, one of the things that Bob Stoop said is the, the program is in tremendous shape. And it seems like he's indicating that, uh, you know, part of the, the, the timing being right is that the program's in a good spot, which is a credit to Bob Stoops, but it's also the, the spot that Lincoln Riley picks it up. Lincoln Riley, hot commodity when he arrived at Oklahoma, now seems even more so. Uh, he interviewed for a few head coaching jobs, did not take them last winter. But now at the ripe old age of 33, Barry, he's, the, the, he's now the head coach of Oklahoma. Uh, any surprise that Oklahoma would hire Lincoln Riley essentially the same day that Bob Stoops announces his retirement? No, the only surprise is that uh, maybe they didn't wait a day. And maybe that, that's the plan and still is. But uh, this is the Oklahoma way uh, in, in, in two facets. One is um, the Sooners have historically hit home runs by promoting from within. Uh, Bud Wilkinson, Chuck Fairbanks, Barry Switzer, all promoted from within. Um, Sooners have never gone uh, big name shopping. The one time they've hired a, a sitting head coach in the last 70 years, uh, Howard Schnellenberger, didn't work out. Oklahoma has continually found uh, diamonds in, uh, in the assistant coaches ranks, and Lincoln Riley certainly fits that. Uh, I was told before Lincoln Riley ever coached his first game at OU, 
Uh, the administration was stunned at the quality of this individual, just the way he carried himself, the, the quality of his character. Uh, they said, keep an eye on this guy. This could be the next head coach. Then he trots out his offense. It's great in 15, great in 16. And it was set in stone, in my opinion, at that point. Lincoln Riley would replace Bob Stoops. The only way that would not happen is if Stoops coached a long time. If he went five, six, seven more years, Lincoln Riley got a really good offer from a school that's, that he could win at. Maybe he goes there, makes it a little more uh, problematic to replace Stoops, maybe. But uh, any other way, it was going to be Lincoln Riley replacing Bob Stoops. And I would venture to say that part of, in addition to Lincoln Riley being impressive, both personally and as the offensive coordinator for the last two years, I have to think the fact that that he keeps current players at ease with the system. He keeps recruits that have already committed and maybe thinking about committing at ease with the idea that there's the continuity. Those things have to really have played into Lincoln Riley's favor as Oklahoma decided to pull the trigger quick on this. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you can promote from within, uh, it always it, it's always best because then you don't have the, uh, the staff upheaval, upheaval, you generally don't have player uh, worry, uh, the, the system's in place, it just goes much smoother. Now, like I said, with Bud Wilkinson taking over, it went great. With Chuck Fairbanks taking over after the death of Jim McKenzie in April of 1967, went great. Switzer taking over for Fairbanks, went great. Now, when Gary Gibbs took over for Barry Switzer in June of 89, the results didn't end up being as good. The program was not in as great a shape as it was at those other times or now. Sooners had just been placed on probation, had just went through the series of scandals. The program was not in great shape. Uh, Gary Gibbs did not do a bad job. Oklahoma didn't fall off the map. That came a little bit later uh, after Gibbs no longer was coaching. But uh, generally speaking, if you can promote from within, it works great. It's tough to follow a legend, but it does, uh, you know, sometimes it does, uh, does work well. Right. Tom, uh, Tom Osborne replaced a legend at Nebraska. Bob Devaney, uh, he, surpassed the, uh, he surpassed the legend. So uh, there's a reason to think this can work. It has worked at Oklahoma. All right. We hope to have a lot more, obviously, about Bob Stoops' retirement, Lincoln Riley's promotion. We'll have that 5.30 press conference. Be sure to follow that as it happens this afternoon. And then we'll have a lot more on the website and in the newspaper in the coming days. And be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.